time to hand over the treasure. Treasure? We are humble folk. There is no treasure here. Don't play coy with us. We know it's here. Yeah. No way S. Frost would go through the trouble of hiding this book if there weren't no treasure. You fool! Don't go blabbing all our secrets! I, uh, a book? What book? We didn't see no book. A book? They stole a book from the archives? Use your eyes and think. If we were hiding treasure, would we not avail ourselves some small portion of it? Uh, I... I suppose. Don't let his fancy words befuddle that big head of yours! If they're just going to keep yapping on about having no treasure, we might as well drive him out and look for it ourselves. And if they get hurt in the process, they can't say we didn't warn them. It is I who shall warn you. Cease this folly and we will not punish you. This place falls under our rule and we won't suffer bandits to harass our subjects. of some blue bloods, you'll regret crossing swords with me and mine. Tis your last chance. Hand over the treasure so we can all go home and Pa can stop his moaning about how we're so poor. Or don't hand it over and make it fun for us. We're coming for you either way. your service. I... I'll do my best. As you command. Excellent. Whatever treasure you seek, it isn't here. Leave now and save us all unnecessary trouble. Shut your trap. That's exactly what someone with treasure would say, and we're coming for it. I'll give it my best. I got it. I can do this. Ready for battle. Time to work.
for you. I feel stronger already. For you. It's for life. Defeat is not an option. Ready to see a spell? I'll make you proud, Grandfather. For the greater good. Here you go. It's for the people. Try this! I'm here to help! Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. That's much better. Whatever it takes. I'll hold fast here. I won't here. let you down! Behold true power. The heavens raise. The heavens bless me. Too obvious. So it comes to battle. doing things. There's more yet to learn. Make way! All right, it's my turn! Now don't move and this'll all be over soon! You're wide open! Time to work. Now then, to work. I do not miss. The heavens judge you. Stay down. The heavens bless me. So it comes to battle. Work. I really feel like I've grown. <laughs> now, what say you to a little wheeling and dealing? Hand it over, and we'll let you go with your lives. We'll have no truck with bandits. Continue this folly at your own peril. I 
feel stronger already. Mm. I'll make you feel that, but thrice is bad! For you. Victory is within. I feel stronger already. Impossible! Curses! Not so fast! Ha ha! This one's for me. I can use this for good. I hope you're watching, Grandfather. Shall prevail. I'm behind you, thank you. One step closer to our hope. Strike while the iron's hot. So, it falls to me. I do not miss. Very well. I feel stronger already. For you, you little. It ain't over yet. Curses. Not so fast. Here! No! Bullseye! 
I shall do what I can. Be at ease. I am gracious. Whatever it takes. This is far Just what I need. I've been waiting for this. Search bears fruit. The heavens judge you. You'll regret facing me. I must remain calm. How about this? There's more yet to learn. It's over. You've lost. No more of your little tantrums. Least ways if you like having your neck attached to your head. Kill us if you want, you bloodthirsty bastards! We're getting that treasure! Mark my words! Trish, stop this madness. Pa? I told you to stay put! And let you throw your life away? You always were too hot-headed for your own good, girl. You have my apologies for this whole mess. I'd ask you to spare our lives. But I know how the world works. Can't let bandits think they can raise and pillage with impunity. You need to make an example out of us. So take me. Hang me, behead me, whatever you please. Just leave my daughter and my people their lives. I beg you. Have you lost your mind? I was the one who led us here. Me! Didn't expect this from the likes of you lot. I suppose even the most unsavory of us has love for their daughters. Love her I do. I. 
She's got a bit too much of my foolhardiness in her, as you can see. She's in such a fervor to find this treasure so I can live my final days in comfort. Can't blame her for looking after her old man, can you? Stop talking, Pa! I'm the head of our band of ruffians, so if anyone deserves to answer for your sins, it's me, and me alone. From one leader to another, once again I beg you, spare the others. Ah. Then let's make a deal. What sort of deal? We shall pardon you and your kin and allow you to work in the Wolfort domain. But in exchange, would you serve House Wolfort? I would like you to help us find the treasure in this village. <sighs> Frederica. I apologize for deciding this on my own, but there is some merit to this. So you believe a treasure exists? Of a sort, yes. It may be related to the Salt Crystal. We should at least take that possibility into consideration and investigate further. So you're saying this treasure might help everyone? Not just the lucky few? If that's the case, then I'm happy to shake to that. Take me instead of Pop, or we're like to be as old as he is before we find the treasure. Stop with the bluster. I'm as spry as it. Ah! <laughs> I cursed back. We all know about your back, Pa. Now go on and rest. The young blood will take care of it from here. There comes a time when a daughter's got to pick up her paw slack, and that's now. I won't hear another word on the matter. You'll be the end of me yet, girl. Like father, like daughter. Do you find this agreeable, Jerome? I do. There was no harm done to my village or my people. Then the deal has been struck. Let's get started with the search, shall we? Yes, my lord. Leave it to me.